Hey, it's Matt from Black Hole Woodworking. Welcome back. Today I'm going to run two different tests. We'll see that coming up near the end. But for starters, I've got to make the test subjects. I'm only going to show you making one of the test subjects because they're pretty much the same. As a reminder as to what Akoya is, it's pickled pine. It's pickled in vinegar, and that becomes more evident when you start cutting it. Because it smells like vinegar. The water can apparently pass through the long grain as easily as the end grain. And this is what makes it more stable. Until now, I've been using a half inch spindle gouge to get the shaping done here. Shortly, I'm going to flip to a one inch flat scraper just to round out the shape I want. I will say this bowl and this wood is cutting really nicely. Not sure if you can hear it, but it just kind of sings as it's coming off the edge of the blade. Even scraping, it's really clean. Look at these shavings, it's like butter. I'm using a half inch bowl gouge to hollow it out. We'll probably get through this part pretty quick. My tool rests a little high, needed to bring it down so that by the time I've angled my tool, I'm at center. Let's begin the test, shall we? This is the bowl I made. For the first test, I'm going to simply stick a bunch of water inside the bowl. And based on what I've heard, I'm going to put a bowl underneath it to catch any water that supposedly might fall through. Let's find out. So right off the hop, the bowl takes water like any normal bowl. It's not like the water is falling through the bowl super quick or anything. So I'm going to see how long this takes. Chances are I'm leaving this out overnight. So after a night of sitting on the counter, I can see that there is water on the counter for sure, but I also saw a crack in the bowl. Now that's one other thing this wood is susceptible to can be cracking. And it did that on the other side, although it did seem to, to wick all over the bowl and get wet on the bottom too. It's a little dark, but you can kind of see that it's like kind of wet all the way through. Interesting. Sounds like I need another test. Let's call this test the dishwasher test. This is another simple test. This bowl has oil, shellac, and wax on it. I simply stuck this bowl in the dishwasher with the other dishes for a one hour high heat cycle. Let's see what happens. This is the bowl after it comes out of the dishwasher. All the finish is gone, but the bowl looks just like it came off the lathe after sanding. It's still just as smooth, feels totally fine, otherwise unaffected. What other tests should I do with this bowl? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.